How's it going YouTube? Dallas Boy here, back in with another Pokemon Black and White 2 Wi-Fi Battle. And today's match is going to be against Hazy, who I ran into on the Smog and Wi-Fi Battle Finder. And I kind of wanted to use his Hail Team for the occasion in that I actually got myself a blue snowball. <laughs> and uh, the story behind that is um, I got a $100 gift card to anywhere from my dad. And we actually went to go get the snowball yesterday. And we also did some other things. And... Uh, yeah, it was a great boys day out, so, um, yeah, but anyways, looking at teams, he's a, gonna, he's running rain to combat my hail, as you can see by the polytoad, and he does actually have quite a few things weak to my Stormy, which pretty much means that Stormy is going to be the most important member of my team, and the biggest threats are going to be Trachyon and Volcarona. Volcarona to easily have him win the weather war against my Abomasnow, and Terrakion to pretty much punch holes and everything. But as of right now, I pretty much need to keep my Abomasnow and my Starmie alive if I'm to win this battle. So I hope you guys enjoy the match and let's get the show on the road! So my opponent's going to be leading off with his Terrakion, and I'm going to be leading off with my Abomasnow, actually expecting him to lead off with his Politoed because weather war and whatnot, but he makes a good move, leads with Terrakion, which means I kind of need, need to send something to take a close combat, and I felt like Skarmie was the best choice, although I did have a Landorus T on my team, and looking at that damage that close combat did, that is a choice banded Terrakion. While it does hit like a truck, it actually gives my um, Skarmie a better chance to combat that thing, but surprisingly, he switches out in the Politoed as he he could have taken my Skarmory out right off the bat on turn two, and my Skarmory actually gets a new lease on life here. But I guess weather was more important for him, I guess. But I did get up one layer of sp spikes there as he does burn me with the Scald, which is unfortunate. But Skarmory was supposed to be dead by now, so it didn't really matter too much in the long run. But Knowing that my Skarmory is pretty much dead at this point, I'm just going to be firing off a Brave Bird as he sends in Tornadus Eye. And I pretty much felt like Skarmory was as good as Death Spotter right here, so uh, I, have to, I have to have it sponge it to scout what type of Tornadus Eye this is. And looking at that he didn't take any um, Life Orb Recoil there, it actually turns out that he's a Specs variant, which means Skarmory is the best switch in for this moment as I, he is going to be switching out into his specially defensive Jirachi as I do fire off a series of Scalds and after one body slam I am actually going to get paralyzed here but him staying, him staying in with Jirachi is a wee bit dangerous as Scald does have that 30% chance to burn and he is actually going, going to be going for the risk taking chances here and uh Unfortunately, I don't get the burn here, but on this next um, Scald, after he failed to paraflinch me with his Iron Head, I am able to get off the burn on this Jirachi, but unfortunately, don't take it out. But it doesn't really matter too much in the long run, as Jirachi is pretty much crippled for the time being because of the burn and whatnot, which actually is, leaves me with, with a window to... <laughs> to actually send in my Heat Rain here to combat this Jirachi expecting him to go for the Iron Head wanting that little pair flinch action but he actually goes for the Wish and makes a pretty dang good prediction here as he goes into his Tornadus Eye as I go for the Earth Power because with that Rain I'm, I'm not wanting to risk it with um, Fire Blast and whatnot. <laughs> now I'm actually open to a uh, Switching to Starmie, expecting the Focus Blast. He does wind up missing, which is unfortunate, but it doesn't really matter in the long run and whatnot. So, um, yeah. It, it will cause him to switch into, um, Politoed here. And unfortunately, I don't get the burn there. And, uh, while he goes for, for the Protect and I go for the Psy Shock, I may as well tell you that he is running Black and White 1. Which explains the Tornado Sai, which is a bit of a relief because we all know that Tornado T is really, really, really annoying. So, anyways, I'm going to go for the Psy Shock here as it reveals to me that he is a 
physically defensive daring to fall into it by that damage. But then again, I'm not running that much um, offensive investment in this Starmie at all, because it's a bulky variant, and for a good reason too. But now, I'm actually expecting him to go for the Protect here, so I'm going to be sending out my Obama Snow, and he's actually going to fire off the Scald, and unfortunately for me, he does get the burn there, which really, really limits my Obama Snow's um, offensive capabilities, because I do have three physically attacking moves, and I'm going to be revealing one of them here, which is Woodhammer, as Politoed is actually going to go for the, the Protect. And expecting Tornadus Eye to come in once again, I'm actually going to be firing off a nice shard, but he makes a good prediction of that and goes into his fortress, his physical wall of his team, and thanks to the burn, Ice Shard is going to be doing absolutely nothing. <laughs> but because I have shown him two physical moves, he is not going to be seeing this HP fire coming straight at him. But unfortunately for me, this fortress is actually going to be living the hit and spinning wing that one layer of spikes Skarmory set up. So that kind of virtually means that Skarmory kind of did nothing for this match. But thanks to the hail, Obama Snow is pretty much gone and I can send my Landers T to set up the rocks at any given point. But now Politoe comes out and I'm going to be switching into my Kieran Black to try to combat this thing. But he actually makes a pretty decent double switch and goes into his Volc Volcarona here. And not wanting to get the um, flame body hacks on me, I'm going to be switching into my Heat Ran to combat this Volcarona. As Volcarona goes for the Quiver Dance, he's pretty much expecting me to switch out. And Fire Blast is pretty much the best thing I have to hit this Volcarona with, so I'm just going to go for it. As he switches into Ornatus Eye, unfortunately I miss. But, hey, Hax is Hax, I guess. But now I'm going to be sending out my Lander's T, expecting him to go for the U-turn, expecting my Starmie to come in. And fortunately he does do that, and it pretty much gives him a switch into um, Politoed. And I don't really want to risk him um, outspeeding me and going for the Skull and taking me out. So I'm just going to flat switch and go into um, Ursa Major, my Starmie, which pretty much is the best thing to sponge a Skull to my team because of its special bulk and access to natural cure. And after I fire off th this one Scald on, on Politoed tried to burn it, Politoed actually shows me Parasong, which actually gives me a bit of an opportunity here. I'm actually going to predict him to try to go for the Protect here and send in my Curum Black safe safely. And uh, that's pretty much what I do now, expecting him to go for the Protect. Unfortunately for me, Politoed winds up going for the Protect, which pretty much gives me a lot of, mom of momentum right now. And I'm expecting him to, s to switch out into something else, and I actually go for the sub, but he actually winds up going for the Toxic here, and I pretty much get myself a free s sub. And I just want to s try to smack something with a Fusion Bolt, and, uh, m well, mainly Terrakion or Volcarona. But he actually stays in with Politoed, and because Paris Song is going to bring his Paris count to zero, Politoed is actually going to be going down, and I actually win the Weather War here. And this pretty much means at any given point, I can pretty much send in my Obama with Death Butter and have my hail up for the rest of the game. So now out comes Bandit Terrakion once more, and he's going to be slamming my substitute with the close combat. And... I actually go for the Fusion Bolt, and this actually winds up being a crit. I am not sure if that mattered be because um, of, of the minus one defense Dracion has and Kieran Black's amazing attack st at, but, but I kind of feel that it actually kind of saved me um, getting this match on the versus recorder and whatnot due to all the uh, glitching that happens when you face Black and White 1 with new form. But now I'm going to be sending out my um, Obama Snow in as Death Water, trying to get off the um, Ice Shard on on this Tornadus Eye. And he's go going to be firing off a U-turn here and as Obama Snow does go down. And he's actually going to be se sending out Jirachi. And I do have the Scar Pete Ren lying in the wing still. And from here, it's pretty much the beginning of the end. And not wanting to uh, risk the drops with over 
with overheat and whatnot, I'm just going to be spamming fire blasts for the rest of the match. Hirachi pretty much out of the way there. Um, Tony Aedis I, whose nickname Kakarot, going to be going down to another fire blast, which pretty much means his last Pokemon is Volcarona. And I pretty much have the means to, um, to a care this thing with fire blast without any worry. And, uh, this bug bug just here, crit, definitely didn't matter, because clutters and whatnot, but, uh, one more fire blast to, to go, and that's pretty much the 4 in my favor. And, uh, it was still a fun game, AZ. I did have, uh, quite a bit of fun playing you. The poly, the poly toke was really annoying, but... It was a good challenge for me, as it was my first time using this team and whatnot. So, uh, pretty coming sub, and I will see you guys next time.